Sarah, hmm? are you home alone? Yeah. Um, don't worry, my sister will send me back. Where did she go to? Um, she just went to get something for us to eat. Yeah. Ah. Oh. All right. So, Ludo, I don't know how to play it. Liar. <laughs> you know how to play the game. <laughs> Uh well I think I'll beat you to your game. Mm. I'll win you. Let's see. Okay. Set your game. Let's see. This one is my own, my own house. This is your game, but I'll beat you on it. I'm going to beat you. All right. I'm going to win you. show me what you got. Okay. Yes. Okay. I'll win you. <gasps> ah, hey. somebody's raising the scores. Hey. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Good. That's your turn. Mm -hmm. My turn. One siki, two siki, three siki. Oh! Oh, good. I told you. I told you. That's how we move. Mm -hmm. um, I pray you marry Uncle Jerry. He's such a nice and gentleman. <sighs> and you both fit each other. Mm -hmm. Spirit, hmm? you ought to understand that there is more to look out for in a man when making a decision to get married rather than just gentility, care, and all that. So, you are saying that there are some qualities that Uncle Jerry lacks from being. Um, husband material. I didn't say that directly, but you never can tell. Which is why it's important to study your man mm. very well before walking down the aisle with him. Mm. So, for how long does a lady study her man? For as long as she can. Because Sometimes men are not really what you think they are. Some are wolves in sheep clothing. Ooh, definitely not Uncle Jerry. Mm -mm. You never can tell. Wait until you're sure. Your uncle might be an exceptional, like you said, an angel from heaven. But. Still something missing. Something missing. Don't worry. I'll tell you when the time is right. Finish up so we'll go to bed. Hmm? something. Prince Dixon Ezra, dressed in his full royal attire. Am I dreaming? What happened? We will be coming down. What do you mean? Father is you at the man. He wants me to accompany him somewhere. I'm not, I'm not even in the mood. Aha! Uh -huh. I knew this was unusual. This was not a coincidence. We were actually compelled to dress up as a prince today. Like... Doesn't it feel good? Feel good? You look good. It shouldn't be a problem Man, accompanying your father. It's a problem. This whole U.S. storm is staring at me. Oh. Yes, who is it? The door is open. Come on, calm down. Hey! Baby K! Hey! You're welcome. How are you, darling? I'm fine, and you? I'm good. You actually look fabulous. Thank you. Please, make yourself comfortable. Wow. What's my baby doing? Your baby is doing fabulously well. <laughs> <laughs> and you look good. You look sweet. I Thank love you. how you're dressed and everything. Thank you. Mm. What's going on? I'm good. You are good, baby. Mm -hmm. You are good. So what's up? Hello. 
How are you? Great. Uh, my bad. Okay, uh, this is Kaima Okorongwa, the one I told you about. My baby, my sweetheart, my tomato jaws, <laughs> the sugar in my tea. Come here, baby. No. <laughs> my everything. Baby. Hey. Meet my brother. Dick. Prince Dick. Dick? No. He meant Prince Dixon. Exactly. Oh, okay. He's a prince. He has told me a lot about you. Good things, too. Hmm. Yeah. Really? yeah. Thank you, even though he hasn't told me anything about you. Uh, well, I was waiting for the right time. And I think this is the perfect time. That's my brother. Yeah. But time? Father? Yeah. I told you earlier. I... Yeah. All right. Don't keep your majesty waiting. Ah, whatever. <laughs> um, sorry I have to leave this way. Hopefully we'll meet some other time. Some other time. Yeah. All right. Be all right. Good. Have a great day. Thank you. I'll just run Tell me along. all about it when you come back. Sure. Be your best behavior. Oh. <laughs> Always. <laughs> all right. So, uh... I hope it's not what I'm thinking. What are you thinking? Who is he? Who is... I thought I just introduced you. He's my brother. Your what? My brother, Prince Ezan. He's a prince, and he's my brother. Come on, why are you so confused about this? And look, I have to get us a drink, huh? I will still get you your favorite, okay? And I'm getting your favorite. Want some ice too? No ice. Me. Why are you bugging me with your calls? I am done. Like, done, done, done. What is it? Let's make that so You are not happy. Dara, I do not have time for your drama tonight. I said, get me a glass of water and stop acting mature. Honestly, I'm confused. I'm shocked. I'm surprised. A whole lot of mixed feelings right now that I don't even know how to think. Oh, oh now I get it. I get it. I'm as confused as you are right now. But oh, wait, could it be that she's angry at me because I'm a prince? And why would she be angry about that? Oh, please stop it. 
Can we just be serious? Of course we can. But don't like but we don't even know what to think of a game being do. Okay. Your person has put us in a very complicated position right now. Why can't she just get out there and leave without telling me what the problem is? Honestly, I'm confused. She wouldn't even give me the chance for us to talk about it. She wouldn't take my calls. Nothing. This is serious. Oh my god. But could you try going to our house at least? House care. <laughs> Make she pour me hot water. Yeah, that's what she said. She will bathe me with hot water if I visit her again. Oh, come on, that's an empty check. You think? She will do it. She will do everything to you. Trust me. Indeed. I would have accompanied you to the house if I was a town. Ah, uh, yeah. I don't know what's happening. Go to a house tomorrow and she will definitely grant your attention. <laughs> you think so? I know so. Just try and you have me to thank. Well, I'll try. I'll try. How was the trip? Oh, it was awesome. All thanks to God, we arrived safely. Uh, I think my attention is needed here. I will call you tomorrow. My regards to Dad. I will make sure you don't ever think this whole thing, please. Bye bye. Bye. I need answers. Why are you giving me this ill treatment? I am not stepping out of here until you tell me what is going on between us. Oh really? You want to pretend like you don't know what's going on? Okay, fine. I'll tell you. I'll remind you. There are three things I mentioned to you before I went into this relationship that I despise the most before I accepted to date you. Do you remember? Lying, cheating, and keeping secrets from one another. But I have been keeping up with this. Oh, things. don't piss me off by telling me you've been keeping up to them. Why didn't you tell me that you're royalty? Why didn't you tell me that you're a prince? I'm not royalty. Oh, shut up. Do I look stupid to you? If you're not royalty, how do you explain that to your younger brother, Dixon, is a prince? Kaima. I'm an orphan. I was six years old when I lost my parents. His Royal Highness, Ikem Baizan, and Her Royal Majesty, Carolina Zani, found me, picked me from the streets, and promised to raise me up take care of my upbringing till I become a full grown man which I am today that's why I regard them as my parents and their only child as my brother I feel a fool I'm sorry I'm sorry I'm sorry I judged you wrongly. Anyone in your shoes could have done the same. It's okay. So 
sorry for him. Oh, how did he die? Did I... they die in a ghastly accident? I don't know. I think you were called to me to ask. I feel so sorry for him. Yeah. Me too. Yeah. I told him not to think about the old ugly memories. Oh, hope it's not lost. Life goes on. You're right. I'm happy that the both of you are back together again. <laughs> I know, right? Mm -hmm. I just feel bad for judging him too quickly and wrongly. It's not your fault. Anyways, I'm just happy that the both of you are back together again. And you should work on that. Thank you. All right, let's finish up and go inside. Put this over there. You know that and his tricks. He won't just stop bothering me with scary stories. <laughs> how they kidnap people here, to how they kill people, use them for rituals, blah blah blah. Oh. So, from 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 what you're saying now. It sounds more like you're on a total lockdown, my guy. Like, like a, a complete bondage. <laughs> I don't know what it means. But trust me, if I know places or anywhere around here, I'll be going out. Of course I trust you. I know what Prince Dixon can do. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> do you know what, huh? To be honest, but, but. I think okay. that stubbornness should have been added to your name. Prince <laughs> Dixon Stubbornness. <laughs> Ah, now your papa fit you, I tell you. <laughs> but, 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 but bro, think about it now. How can I be staying indoors for days? I honestly can't wait to leave this place. The mosquitoes here again? Ah, I have another set of terror. <laughs> Look, just, just calm down. Just in a few days and you guys are done. You said three days, right? Yes, yes, we should be back in the next three days, God willing. So, uh, enough of me and my boring journey. How about with K? How did it go? Well, I went over to her house like you advised and um, I was successful. Perfectly. <laughs> it worked you, perfectly. I told you. I told you. Yeah, you did. did. Trust my plans. So, so, what was our reason for getting angry? Nothing serious. Uh, it was me, you, and the royalty. But, but I told you earlier that it was all about me being a prince. She thinks I am too young and arrogant to be a prince. Oh, come on, guys. Stop that. It was an entirely different reason, okay? She, she is mad at me because she thinks I'm royalty. And I've been hiding the secret from her until the day I introduced you to her. Oh, now I see. But you are reality. By adoption, not bloodline. I rest my case then. Um, big bro, I will have to hang on now. I think my attention is needed here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, uh, my regards to dad and um, see you when you get back. Sure, sure, I will. Bye. Bye-bye. Look, I can't find my you phone. insisted you my wanted phone, to call. My phone, I can't find it. Your phone? Yeah. What do you mean? You can't find your phone. Didn't you come back with your phone? I, I don't know. So it means you left it at the bar. Oh my, I must have left it on the table. <laughs>